So all this stuff here used to be in the yurt and the yurt is going to move here on this weekend. So I'll give you a look inside. Everybody else is still sleeping. We have some long distance cyclists here and the family who come to help with the uh, move of the yurt. So you see, it's all empty. And yeah, now we continue. Next thing is removing the emma, removing the roof fabrics, removing the wall fabrics, removing the roof poles and then the walls and the door and then the floor and that's it and um, yeah so the the yurt will be packed kind of in between meanwhile into the grey tent there's still enough space for the yurt and then moving the foundation will be interesting and digging the new hole for the earth fridge hmm. So that's a little bit update on the move of the yurt. Yeah, so I got the M130 rocket stove. It has been now in use in two years, and in the whole two years I've never cleaned the stove pipe. Well, in the summer it hasn't been used, but in the winter, so two times six months non-stop kind of thing. And yeah, not really much soot in here, quite clean. Quite surprised I expected to have more so very clean burning nice yep so fabrics have been now taken off and they're all in here and yeah everything looking good fabrics are nice and clean no surprising mold or anything so quite happy so the roof is off and this is something that is interesting. Interesting is that, uh, or good to notice that this part has, the string has broken from pulling the fabric over. So, um, or the fabric actually pulled over like this, the roof cover, it pulled over like this, so it broke the string. So I will just replace the string with something more durable. Hmm. So far, so good. So that's how it looks like. Yeah, everything dry, nothing rotten, and quite happy with everything. The yurt is packed in the tent, it could start raining now, we'll be fine. <laughs> so, a few lessons learned from the last time. Um, in the new place, we evened out the ground. And in the old place, I did not do this, thinking that the uh, mattress will kind of even it out, which it did. What I did not take into account is that the mattress also became smaller in diameter due to the uneven ground. So the, the floor boards, they were going until here. So right under the wall, there was no insulation, which I kind of improvised with wool and some chicken wire. Um, so now in the new setup, I will make these strings longer. Um, so this whole mattress will go further out. And also the mattress should be slightly bigger already because the ground is flat. So that is the changes that are going to happen. And you see it's quite uneven already in the moment, the last one. So it will be better. So after opening the uh, mattress, now the loose lacquer is filled into here and just closed with an office stapler and these bags um, have a thickness of 18 centimeters which is quite nice thickness and then there will be some loose lacquer to be put between the bags yep so that will make future transportation probably easier so there's already 30 bags filled with lacquer and there's another five bags and we still have plenty of bags but i think we are almost halfway about so yeah it will be 
over 100 bags, I guess, or maybe close to 100 bags. Yep, and there is already the hole for the new fridge dug in the middle of the new location. So, short in between, 80 bags are filled, and uh, actually, another so far, eight bags. There will be some more that will stay open to fill the gaps later, but 80 bags are closed. <coughs> And yep, this is how it looks like. And lucky with the weather. No need. Wie gut, dass ich die Räder abgebaut habe. How good that I took off the wheels before. <laughs> so we start laying the bags. And yeah, the floor is much, much flatter compared to the old one. And the fridge is in. And yeah, so we just continue. Altogether, 80 closed bags. Thank you for the local brewery, Honkavori, for the donation of these empty malt bags. Very good stuff. So we proceeded, have now this situation and soon we fill all the gaps and even out the top layer with all the loose stuff that is standing over there in these bags. Looking good so far. So yeah, we are filling gaps and equalizing. There would be less gaps if we had sausages instead of um, these square shaped bags. But um, it's good like this. So we're gonna fill the gaps. We have so many bags left and I think that'll do. So this is how it looks now. We filled, oops, this is not sharp. So we filled all the gaps and equalized and we put the blue one on and now we start connecting the strings from the middle. To the outside. So installed already the cable, the battery will be stored down here in the fridge. Um, door is in place, some rubber seal goes under the door to keep moisture out a bit better and the wall pieces are coming in place and then we put the roof on soon. So we stuffed some wool along the edges and now install this small small thing here to prevent the walls from falling down. Can you hold? It's filming. Thank you. Very much. I come into the inside to have a trick. Hello, so we are giving birth to the yurt and yeah, in its new location and home. Yes, Jurtan Udrikus, Pystyttämistä. Yeah, can you lock it up there? Um, did you see what I did on yes. the other side? Two times round and then just a normal um, stainless and copper bar. You good there?
I don't know, maybe a bit higher. I'm hoping. Yes. Second. What? Oh. Same thing in shop. Okay. Oh, I see. Teamwork. Yay. We roll it out a bit. Roll, 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 roll. I think we're going to go a little bit from here. Okay. In the middle. Yes. And a bit more to the, to the left, the whole thing. Like Which left? Counterclockwise or clockwise? Uh, counterclockwise. Okay. The whole the whole material. Otherwise we have a like we have a fold up here. Yep. Drop in from here. Yep, kind of. Um like a little bit back now, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that was the first. Oh, don't go to the room. I just want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to the room! <laughs> 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 yeah, we should try to get it a bit higher here. Look up around the corner on the outside somehow. Is there any friction down here? Is there anybody here? So, Huck, do you want to tell what is going on? What are you doing? Well, we are unrolling the roof felt, which is the insulation layer under the weather protection layer. Yeah. And we're just tying it off as it goes. And this is two times six millimeter sheep wool from Austria. Hmm, nice. What kind of knot slash hitch are you using here? I'm actually doing a very, very common knot, which can be extremely strong if done in the right way. People do it every day or think they try. Actually, what I do is a reef knot on double slip, which is the same thing if you do it properly, that works on your shoelaces that people try to do every day, but often they do it something different and then it comes undone easily. But if it's done in the proper way, it just holds very secure. Don't need to double anything up. Yeah. That's what I'm doing here. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, from here we can continue. This looks beautiful. Oh, greetings, and darkness, we are really inside here. my old friend. Light. The ball must stay. Okay. The ball must do. I add two wrappings before the reef. Sorry, can you repeat that? I'm adding two wrappings counterclockwise and clockwise, one in of each strength, around the pole to add friction before I do the reef knot. But now, in the very end, I'm actually doing a clove hitch. A clove hitch? Yes, because that holds really well. Because this is a square shape here at the end, so there's a lot of friction over the edges. Yeah. So usually clove hitch unsecured on rolling round anchors, they slip, they need to be back up secure. I think it all looks good. Yeah. Very good. Yay. To go the old thing needs to go. Oh. Right now, I'll roll it. Mm -hmm. 
needs to go one further here. Because the overlap on the other side is really high. Yeah, one too high. Exactly one too high. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. All good. No problem. Perfect. But, <laughs> but oh, wrong. It's so nice to learn. <laughs> Slowly but steadily. I think we can just wiggle it around. Yeah. Yeah, but we need to open up all the three at the top first. Where is the missing piece of wood? The missing piece of wood? Oh, it's there, but we first need to wiggle this one back a little bit. Okay. It was 